Hey, hey, what's going on guys? Captain Jessel here, back with some more Yugu opening. Uh, so today we've got something really cool. I stopped by my local card shop, and when I say local, I may, I don't mean too, too close, but I've got a card shop the next town over. I haven't even ever been there, so uh, I kind of went during COVID to grab some sleeves and supplies and small things, but they weren't really like open for business. It was more or less just go, go grab what you need and go. Uh, so I actually went and kind of picked up some stuff there and I wanted to kind of do some openings. They actually had a lot of cool stuff. So um, I'm actually going to show you. I just picked up, uh, just got some of the stuff today. A um, couple of singles they had uh, hanging in as well. Uh, they had a binder full of stuff. It was almost way too easy to spend money there. Uh, my poor wallet almost took a big hit, but I tried to keep it nice and easy. Uh, so I ended up picking up a uh, Dark Magician and a Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, from the Evolution Starter Decks back from, what, like 2005. Um, these cards are beautiful condition. So, uh, yeah, I decided to pick them up, grab a couple of those, but I also grabbed, I was noticing when I was flipping through the pile here, this Oblast the Tormentor premium gold, but look at the bottom. I thought this was absolutely crazy. Look at the, look at the misprint on the foiling on here. It looks like they just shot a foil cannon here. You can actually feel that, uh, like the, the bump in the foil, but these, I, I, I just, I couldn't help myself. I had to, uh, you know, they always say support local, shop local. I got no problem doing that. I mean, it's good product. I'm going to be buying you anyways. So, yeah. So, what I've got in store here today. Um, whoa. Dropping stuff here. Uh, is I actually got myself a 2015, uh, what is it? Odd Eyes Pendulum. Yeah, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon Tin. So, 2015 tin. Uh, before we get into that, though, I actually wanted to uh, stop at one of these. So, this is also another thing I picked up at the uh, at the game store. Uh, and as you can tell, obviously, as well, I've got this nice, big, beautiful, bear with me here while I adjust my camera, uh, playmat as well. So, no more dingy, black little mouse pad basically so i've got a, a play mat now it is i'm a little bit guilty it is actually an mtg uh, play mat they didn't have anything super cool ui that i really wanted to pick up so uh, that's what i ended up going with it apparently according to this the tube here is bruna light of alabaster so i don't know i just thought it looked really cool it's a really cool piece of artwork um i thought i would drop that here and we would uh you know have a little something here to uh to look at while i'm uh well, I'm doing the opening. So, uh, I guess, you know, let's just jump right in. So, we've got the uh, the new Legendary Duelist, the Season 2 pack. Um, not really sure what I'm expecting out of this. Uh, I want some cool Blue Eyes cards. I mean, I'm a Blue Eyes White Dragon's like my absolute favorite, you know, card of all time ever. It was a, one of the first Yu-Gi-Oh cards I ever had or owned back, you know, in, when I was in grade school playing on the, you know, on the elementary school circuit. So that's probably what I'm looking for, but really I'm just happy to open this. I'm, you know, I've got no real expectations. I'm just here to, you know, rip some packs and have a good time. Um, whoa, what if I kick myself out of the way here? Technical difficulties. I have a really bad habit of doing that when I'm doing these openings. I've got my camera tripod sat right in front of me. I'm sure you can probably see that there. I might try to edit it out in post, but you know. I've got a hard time with this guy sometimes. It gets in my way. So let's get right in here. So what do we have? What do we have? So uh, first thing I guess we should take a look at is the... Uh, I want to see, can I hide the promo card away? I'm going to hide the promo card for now. We're going to get, we're going to get into that here in a second. I want to see what the other goodies I can hear. Oh, yeah. All right. So I did. I got one of the blue eyes, white dragon dice, and that's actually really cool. Um, again, I wasn't really hoping for a specific one. Again, I like the blue eyes stuff. So that's really cool. Um, question is, is do it, you know, if I ever play, do I use it? Do I keep it sealed? What do I do with this? I, you know what? I'm just going to put it up on my shelf. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hide that up here for now. We'll uh, we'll post that up and we'll we'll do that. So you get two packs in these sets. Um, those are chunky packs. They're thick packs, 18 cards. So I think you're guaranteed a little bit of everything here. Uh, I'm hoping to guarantee myself a little bit of blue eyes white dragon, hopefully, maybe blue eyes ultimate dragon, a little bit of anything between that. Yeah, let's just not talk. Let's just get right in and open these guys up. Uh what do we have? What do we get? I'm going to bend these cards. I'm sure everybody at home is just cringing watching me do that. The packs. I'm so sorry that I'm bad at opening packs. 
Let's get in. So we have a Kaiba Man. Cyber Pharos, Master with the Eyes of Blue, Super Strident Blaze, Glowing Crossbow, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon, and a Malefic Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's actually one of the singles I've been kind of meaning to pick up is the, uh, uh, what is it, Bonds Beyond Time, I think, movie pack. They have, like, what is it, this is Secret Rare as a promo. It's a really cool looking card, and it's kind of one I've been wanting to pick up. Oh, so we have our foils after this. So after Harpy Queen, we've got our first foil, which is a Sage with Eyes of Blue Ultra Rare. <gasps> Come on, please tell me this is... Oh, yeah, all right. Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. And we have that in one of those nice, beautiful blue-colored uh, Ultra Rares. So that's actually a really cool one. I'm going to have to go drop a sleeve on that. We have a uh, Starlight Photon Blast Dragon, but let's uh, let's grab a sleeve for this guy first. I also got uh, at the card shop, I got some penny sleeves uh, just for, you know, whatever random... Uh, random goodies we get into but uh yeah we're gonna sleeve that guy up so twin burst dragon so i wanted my blue eyes support i wanted my blue eyes cards that's how i'm gonna get them um so what else here what else what else what else we have a star Leech photon blast and i guess that's all it is for your uh wow that's even even as a common that's a cool lunar light fusion so that's all you get so you only get a couple of ultras in each of the packs that's what I'm going to be looking for, though. Not sure. I'm not sure what I want as a uh, as a promo. Again, maybe what is it? Galaxy Eyes, Abyss, or Abyss Eyes, something like that. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll have a peek see anyways and see what we get. So what do we have? Abyss Playhouse, Fantastic Theater. Some more Abyss stuff. Maiden with Eyes of Blue, the Black Wings. Anybody's been watching? Uh, uh, CMOS progression series knows all about those right now, I'm sure. Photon hand, and that's not a foil. Cyber Dragon Seizure. Now, this is our first foil. We have Rage with Eyes of Blue. Okay, another great blue eyes and a Super Express Bullet Train. What do we have? Oh, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon as our third ultra rare in this set. All right, so I'm getting some really cool stuff here. Um, yeah, uh, what do we have? Do we have a heart? Oh, yeah. Some harpy stuff here. I thought I saw... Oh, wait, what? Sorry, I thought I saw some more harpy girls, but... Wow! Okay, yeah, let's throw some sleeves. Sleeves, 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 sleeves on this guy. So we have that in like that. Look at the text on that. That's like a purple, black. I think that looks really cool with this card. I'm actually pretty pumped to get this. All right. So let's pull that, keep that aside. I'm gonna sleeve up the Rage with Eyes of Blue. I have no clue if these cards are of any like real cool value, but uh, uh, you know what? They're sentimental value to me. I think they're, you know, I, I love the Blue Eyes stuff. Blue Eyes White Dragon, just my absolute favorite card of all time. So uh, really pumped to just get that. I think that's friggin' awesome. Little disappointed I didn't get a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. That was really, really what I wanted. But you know what? The Twin Burst. The Twin Burst is really cool. I'm not going to complain. What do we get for a promo, by the way? Let's flip this guy over. I know you all have been waiting for this. Garden Rose Maiden. So, obviously, one of the... Uh, what do you want to call that? My Valentine, you know, support cards. The plant, planty fairy thingy. <laughs> uh, Black Rose Dragon support, I guess, is what that is. I do want to keep this sealed. Any of these single promos, I will keep sealed. Uh, probably in the tin, the promos, I'll open them up. Because, I mean, I am on an unopening channel. But for these here, it's a single promo. I'm going to keep this nice and sealed up. We're going to seal this somewhere safe. Because that's a really cool card. And I want to keep that in very good condition. I like trying to keep these cards in, in, in prime condition. If I, you know, if I, if I can, if I so desire to. Alright. So, let's hop into the tin. So... We're going to see what my unpacking skills are like today. Probably not great. I struggle sometimes with unboxing stuff. There we go. I'm doing this off. I've got it here. I'm doing this off camera just because I need the arm space. I'm not cheating on anything, I swear. There we go. There's my tin. So, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Now, one thing I'm going to mention... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I did not realize... Okay, oh yeah, there's more... Uh, 
Okay, we'll open those up. Yeah, sorry, I just got really excited by that probe. We're gonna open these probes in a second, but one thing I just wanted to go really quickly is, you'll see these Mega Tins, um, instead of having like base packs, base sets of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so rather than, you know, having like, you know, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon or, you know, sets like that, they just do Mega Packs. So what they like to do or have a tendency to do is they reprint, um, you know, a lot of the, at the, at, at the year, I mean, probably not in 2021, but, uh, you know, the year of just defining, you know, meta cards and just big cards and chase cards that are expensive, they'll reprint. So instead of getting, you know, five packs of whatever set is out at the time, you're now getting three, again, chunky, big heckin' chunky packs of some of the cooler cards. So, I think in these ones, the Mega Packs, you are guaranteed one of every rarity. So, Super Secret, Ultra, etc, 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 etc. I'm just going to set this aside here. Bear with me. Um, I think you're guaranteed one of every rarity. So, um, you know, if you're out down your luck, having a bad day, can't pull anything, you just want you ju you just want a secret rare, you just want some, some foils, then you can, can, you can kind of feast on them. I am going to open up the, uh, the foils in here because there is multiple. I want to see what exactly what we get in this guy. Um, but wow, look at that pen. Oh my, that is just, I did not realize they do like a full, a full card starlight. That is impeccable. Uh, we have an Elder Entity Norden. Look at the, by the way, the warp on these cards. This wasn't, isn't as bad as some of the 5Ds tins. The older tins that warped really badly. But look at the warp on these cards. So an Elder Entity Norden. Majesty's Fiend. And I thought, am I crazy here? Can I just slow myself down for a second? I thought that I was supposed to get a pot of something. Maybe I've gone crazy. And... You know, I'll, I'll honestly tell myself that because I believe that, but I thought these tins, I'm going to have to go back. All right. Sorry, bear with my lack of being able to look real, but I thought there was a pot of duality or a pot of somethingality in these tins that uh, I, I, wait, let's look at the back. It'll say in the back. Okay, no, that's that's what exactly what we get. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm just unable to, you know, see things properly. I, once again, am going to sleeve up this Pendulum Dragon. That is that is getting a spot in the binder. That is... I know they're not a high, high-value card. It's not like, you know... This isn't like a, a $200 chase card, but man, this... I don't know what you want to call it. This Parallel or Starlight... That is so nice. But I've also got some packs to open, so let's not <laughs> let's not sit here and dwell on my on my beautiful pendulum dragon in front of me here. Let's uh let's actually pull something. Some packs open here. Again, I don't even really know what to look for in these packs. I'm not really chasing after any crazy cards. I I like the way cards look. I'm not even too worried about, you know, anything else. But let's just see what we get here. We have a Lindbloom. Command performance. Fluffle! So the Fluffle stuff is in here. Curse of Shadow Prison. Climate change. Oh, come on. Liberals. And we have a rare. So C43 High Manipulator of Chaos. We have a super, not super, ultra rare. Califort Scout. We have a Califort Disc. Look at this foiling. Oh, hey, Jinzo! So Jinzo Jector, I don't think that was like a super popular, but that was a pretty cool Jinzo card. Um, but uh, yeah, look at that Califort disc. Uh, definitely one of the cooler cards. And I'm going to once again take me a sleevey, sleevey sleeve, and put a sleevey, sleevey sleeve on it. Obviously, Cleforts uh, kind of fell off when Pendulums kind of fell off, so you don't see a lot of these guys anymore in the meta, but. Still cool, nonetheless. So it looks like I didn't get a super... Oh, yeah, no, the super's at the back. Okay. Bear with me. I've got Friday brain. Okay. Let's get right into the next all packy poo here. And put that one out of the way. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? 
So a Spike Eagle, a Booge Intervention, Chain Dispel, a Satellar Knight Beetlejuice. Say that one three times fast. Battle Guard King. I wonder if that's like the Swamp Battle Guards and the Lava Battle Guards. That's like the king of them. There you go. There's a there's a set we need support for. A, all right, we're gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. A Sylvan Snap Dressinagon. Dressinagon. Stellar Knight Deneb. So not actually. You know what? That's a pretty good. That's a pretty valuable pull on out of this box. I am not gonna complain about getting that. Not whatsoever am I gonna complain about that let's get a sleeve on this guy that's actually really good uh, for your for your ultra rare pull oh hey secret is that a yeah that's a secret boo jinky I'm at a boo jinky I'm at I'm at a I'm a there we go I got it leave me alone Let's just uh, let's just get a sleeve on that and pretend we didn't we didn't try to just say that name there. That's what we're gonna do is just pretend that wasn't ever a thing. Now we have Bayon, Earth of the Yangzing, the Performa Pal stuff. We got oh we got a donkey a fr a friend donkey friend donkey and a hip hippo. So we got lots of Performa Pal stuff in that, which again was really big a few years ago. Obviously not so much anymore, but it was it was a thing. All right, into the last pack. I am I am gonna do my best to open this and not absolutely murder the cards inside. So we're gonna bear with me here because I am I'm embarrassing myself doing this. Charlie, you at home, commenter collectors are going to be wanting to shoot me for this. More performer pal, so I could just start building the performer pal deck if I wanted. Raid Raptors, Uni Zombie. Artifact Aegis. Alright, and we're into our fun cards. The Satellar Knight series. I could also probably build a Satellar Knight deck, clearly. Sylvan Sage Koya. Forbidden Scripture as the uh, the card. The Forbidden cards are really cool. I think the only one that really ever sees... Oh no, I'm out of these sleeves. Alright, well we're going to get some new sleeves. Uh, bear with me here. Forbidden Scripture, yeah. The big one was... Um, with my brain, but my brain. Uh, Forbidden Droplet. That was always a big, a big deal. That's still a big deal. So, what does Forbidden Scripture do? Let's get this boy in a sleeve. I also bought uh, for these penny sleeves because I'm gonna be sleeving up a lot of stuff. I'm just really picky about making sure my cards stay in tipped up condition. So, what do we have? If a monster battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, negate all other card effects on the field. And wow. That's a pretty card, and look at—I love—I just love the foil. Look at that foiling on that. That is beautiful. And we got a little utopias and all the other fun stuff in here. So soul strike, a gem knight, artifacts, and desk bot zero zero two. So that's what we get. That's what we got for this opening. Uh, I've got one last thing before I go into the fun. Fun, fun cards. Actually, let me just... Give me a moment here just to organize myself here. Um, I'm going to pull my fun cards into the way here. And just show people... Just show you guys, in case you guys have the memory span of me... Exactly what we got, what we pulled here. Because... If you're anything like me, you've got a bad habit of forgetting exactly everything that you ever got. Ha cha cha. Sorry, I'm gonna organize myself better for the uh, for my next videos. Hopefully, I kind of throw all my cards in a pile and go, "Hey, look, there you go, cards, fun." So, just to show you a little bit of what we got, and I'm out of order here again. And just gonna miss some upside upside down cards. So we have a nice blue text the dragon. Very beautiful. Sage with eyes of blue. Blue eyes twin burst dragon. Black rose moonlight dragon. Rage with eyes of blue. Elder entity Norton. A Clefort disc. Odd eyes pendulum beautiful sexy dragon. Jinzo ejector. 
A Satellar Knight Deneb. Anybody want that? Anybody want that? Bujinki Amater Am Amaterasu. 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 Forbidden Scripture. Sylvan Sage Koya. And our sealed promo, Garden Rose Maiden. So one more thing I wanted to show you guys before I head off for the day is uh, I've been having mail day. I've been spending a lot of money on singles and stuff coming in because I can't stop buying Yu Yu cards ever. And I wanted to show you one of the fancy, fancy cards that I just got in the mail just the other day. Um, if I can find it. Was, 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 was. This bad boy right here. The Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth. So this was a video game promo from the Sacred Cards, which is like, what, 2000? It was like a 2004 Game Boy Advance game, I think. Somebody somebody correct me there if I'm probably wrong. Um, but I wanted to pick this up. I actually had this card as a kid back, you know, back in the day. I remember going to like the locals, you know, the library and trading with kids. And this is one of the cards that I got and just one of the cards that I absolutely love. And the reason, I mean, not, not that I love it, because I, I thought this card at the time was like crazy good. I mean, 3,500 attack. This is just a big old crazy monster, but, uh, you know, it's... <laughs> Not not that angry of a card, uh, but I just I love the foiling on this. I, these old video game promos, I've been trying to start collecting those primarily, uh, and you know I got this card. It's in beautiful condition. I mean, just look at the, just look at it. If you look in the right light, there's a, some scuffing, but this is almost 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 a gradable card. But I don't think quite. I think this is going to stay in a top loader, uh, and I'm going to hold on to it forever dearly. Um, but I just, I love the foiling. I love this card. This is one of the classics that, you know, when I got rid of all my cards back when I was too cool for Yu-Gi-Oh! and too mature for it, I got rid of it. So, yeah, I wanted to get that back. I decided, you know what? I'm just going to get it. I'm an adult. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. So, uh, yeah, I went and did. Anyways, I don't have any more cards to open. I don't have any more packs to open. So, we're going to kick it off there. Um, I've got... I think some more stuff coming up, so stay tuned for that. I will, you know, open more packs when I get a chance to open more packs and more goodies and more stuff. Uh, but in the meantime, everybody have yourself a great day, night, weekend, evening, morning, whatever you're having. Captain Jess is out. Peace.